Now, Harrison holds the unfortunate dual title as being both the first president to die in office and also the president with the shortest presidential term in history. He only served for 32 days before succumbing to a deadly case of pneumonia. But before all of that, he also became the first president ever elected from the Whig Party. He was born just before the American Revolution started in the year 1773 in Virginia. He grew to prominence on the stage of history in the military, where he made a name for himself, making war with the Indian tribes of the Midwest. Now, what is lost in history is the, what kind of president Harrison could have been. Many historians believe that uh, Harrison's choice to not prepare for cold weather on the day of his inaugural address actually led to his death. He contracted a cold immediately after he refused to dress warmly for his swearing in celebration outdoors and the cold turned into pneumonia and on April 4th, 1841, Harrison died in office at the age of 68.